Okay, so this is the tambourine first act. Three dollars and ninety-seven cents. This is gonna be the body for my Ukraine Tambo Uke thing. Um, carefully drawn plans. Or not. Uh, sketch the circle for the tambourine there. And I took the scale off of my soprano uke and just scribbled it on the paper. It's been a long week since. Now I've got this nifty dowel that just happens to fit in that hole. Just perfectly. And that will be our dowel rod. I don't have my ruler handy, so I'm just going to line up this little piece of aluminum bar, and I'm going to mark the neck blank, which is the neck, and I'm going to mark how long the dowel rod needs to be. Okay. And that mark is the scale, which is 14 inches. Death comes like a thief in the night. I still while you're sleeping, your soul slips through my head. Okay. Having carefully drawn and measured everything, <coughs> I'm just going to mark out the neck blank and then I'm going to put in two two inch blocks that we'll use to make the heel so we'll have somewhere for the dowel rod to go and we'll sketch in the uh, radius of that tambourine so that I can cut the neck later to fit. Yeah, mark the dowel rod so I can cut that. Fingerboard, lovely piece of rosewood. Okay, it's a cheap piece of rosewood. One more thing. These are their pins. Now it gets loud. Okay. Cutting out the neck and the two blocks for the heel. Cut out the fingerboard and put a scrap on there to keep it from tearing out. And the dowel rod. And look, I have all my fingers. Yay! The scraps I'm using have a finish on them. So I'm just going to sand that off so that the glue will stick them a little better. Ta -da. And on the neck too.
Okay, blew up. Almost the siding is watching it dry. A little dab there. Smear it out. Stick them together. A little more there. Stick them together. Everything lined up and looking happy. And then put my clamp on. Crank it down until I get a little squeeze out. And there you go. Now it's dry. And we're just finishing up roughing out the neck shape. And that's pretty much what we've done today. I round it off the top. When it stands up, you'll see the where I've drawn in the shape of the peg head. There we go. I've rounded off that peg head in the top there. And that's about it.